I'm Jason Dunford and I made it to the highest levels of international swimming, competing in an Olympic final against swimmers like Michael Phelps. This week I'm in Eldoret, Kenya to meet sports champions who've kept winning beyond their sports careers and learn how they've managed their personal finances to secure their futures. We're on our way to meet Moses Kiptonui, one of the greatest runners in history. He's a former world record holder, an Olympic medalist, and the first man to go under eight minutes in the 3,000 meter steeplechase. Hi, Jason. How are you? How are you? Great to see you today. We'll see you too. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Just working, working hard. <laughs> so Moses, what was the process you went through to start planning your financial future towards the end of your career? I knew in this career of sports, one day it will end. It's a very short career if you compare with other careers. After being exposed to sports all over the world, there are things that I picked which are now bene beneficial to me today. So there's there's need to save, mm. there's need to buy some properties that after some time it will gain its value, and that is what I did. So athletes today, they're earning serious cash all over the world. Was it the same in your time? Comparing with today's athletes, I didn't earn like what I'm making now, but during those years it was enough for me. Even if you earn a lot and you don't have any plan, it becomes useless at the end of the day. You better earn a little and have a good plan for it and make it grow. What are we up to here today and can you show us other projects as well? Yeah, today I'm supervising uh, this new project. And in terms of your investments, there's lots of opportunities out there. How did you think about where to put your money? I was looking life after athletics. What business that I can start slowly when I'm still active, then when I retire, then I'll go and do it. And it happened that I retired early because of the injuries that I had. So then what came to my mind is real estate I think I can manage because it's not involving. And uh, a supermarket business, then that third one is a dairy farming. Remember I won a house in Rome and uh, behind my mind, where could I keep a house? <laughs> because it's a different area. They say, okay, but because I come from a Nilotic tribe where we value animals, then let me sell and buy some cows. And that is what I did. This is my third supermarket. Uh, it's four years old. Okay. We have other branches, uh, two other branches outside the Lower Town. You have to be patient. Even if you have the money, you don't have patience. There's nothing you can do in this world. The other thing again, money management, you need to manage what you have. That is, I've learned to save. You need to have your own personal discipline. Now we've heard a little bit about how Moses has managed his money since he retired from sport. What questions do those following in his footsteps have for him? Alfred Bungay, 2008 Olympic champion in 800 meters Beijing. There's this big question that I've always had in my mind. I have some money and I need to invest. And many times I ask myself, where is the best way to invest? In small towns or maybe in big cities? A lot of things need to be considered before you start any business at all. Where are you going to place your business? What how much finance do you need? Okay, and now I mean, who is going to run for? Who is going to run for it? My name is Isaac Kilkimboy, Olympic champion, multiple world champion, Commonwealth champion, 
African champion. I want to ask you, what should I consider when I want to invest and what time, at what time am I supposed to know when to invest and uh, what kind of business do I need to, to venture into? Investing, you have to start from the beginning. From the beginning when you have an idea that I need to do something, but it has to come from your passion. You start from one asset go, going to another asset. You cannot start from all the, all the business you have in your mind. I think there is a starting point. 